Ultra Single. <laughs> Hello guys, what is up? Tara Arts Movie here with another super duper exciting After Effects tutorial. And today I'm gonna be teaching you how to put yourself inside any movie. So, as you can see here, already <laughs> a very nice smile from yours truly. And of course, it is not the original scene. It is a scene from Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. <laughs> this is a uh, uh, Professor Slughorn. Hi, Professor. <laughs> and of course, this is the original scene. As you can see here, <laughs> this guy. Look at this. Look at look at how he flirts with with Emma Watson here. Hey, 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 hey. back off, back off, man. All right, so <laughs> hashtag Ultra Single. <laughs> All right, so boom, we're gonna make him disappear. Shoo, go on, and then. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. <laughs> so, another example is this scene from Fast Five, and this is my friend. And boom, boom, boom. This is the original scene. And then boom, boom, boom. There you go. So, how to do this? So, it's actually very, very simple. And the answer is, of course, um, probably some, some of you already know, a green screen. Bam. There you go. And as you can see here, this is the original uh, footage. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're gonna shoot yourself uh, in front of green screen, and then later on we're gonna put this green screen footage inside After Effects, and then we're gonna replace the uh, with a chroma key effect, and then we're gonna replace the green screen with uh, with uh, with any movies we want. So as the as the break as the blah, blah, as the background. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, this is the first thing, and the second thing is you're gonna make sure that uh, the lighting is the same as the scene that you wanna, you know, uh, put a chroma key effects on. So you can see here, uh, the lighting on this scene is from the left side, uh, kind of from back there. So and it's a harsh light. As you can see here, it's kind of harsh light, and that is exactly what you're gonna do when you shoot your um, character. Uh, in front of a green screen, as you can see here, boom, there you go. If that's uh, if you already done that, then all you gotta do is put it inside After Effects. So, as you can see here, we already put the uh, scene here, or your movies that you're gonna put yourself into, and then boom, this is the the uh, the uh, background scene, and then next, of course, you're gonna put your scene, bam, and then if uh, it's kind of a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna go to layer transform. And then uh, fit to come, boom. And next, uh, because the character is not moving so much, I can just do this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there you go. Pen tool. And then just cut the unnecessary part, like so. By the way, to move it with a hand tool instead of you go here and then change it again, blah, blah, blah. Just click on the middle on the scroll mouse button and then boom. And then hold it. And then woo, 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 you can move it like that. And then uh, sc scroll your mouse up to zoom in and scroll your mouse down to zoom out. As easy as that. Alright, so boom, boom, and then boom. And then, so it, it, it is, it's called pen tool, but it's actually like a scissor. It cuts everything. So, yeah. I, I wonder why why they didn't just, why they didn't just you know, uh, say that, you know, uh, cutter or whatever. Alright, so fit. <laughs> and then, next, we're gonna make sure... Uh, you click the scene, the uh, you, you know your scene, and then go to effect, and then keying. Where is it? Keying, keying. There you go. And then key light, and then you're gonna pick the screen color, and then you're gonna click the green screen part. Boom! Disappeared. Uh, but we haven't finished yet, so you're gonna go to the final result. Final result here from the view tab. View final result, and you're gonna change it to. Screen made, so you're gonna we're gonna see it in the black and white, and then all you're gonna do is you go to the screen made, and then on the clip black you're gonna punch it up until all the black clip is actually black, and then the clip white you're gonna punch it down until the uh, foreground is all white. As you can see here, boom, there you go. So as soon as you see that the foreground is all white, stop. Don't overdo it, or otherwise. It will have some green spills on the edges. All right, so you gotta change it again to final result, and boom, we are done. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so we're already done here with the key light and uh, we're gonna shut it off for a second now All right, so next we gonna first of all we're gonna have to make the uh, subject on the real scene Disappear so how to do that to do that is uh, well this technique is only works if you have some you know tripod scene. so basically the scene is uh, you know the camera is on the tripod so it's not moving everywhere so yeah if you want to uh, you know replace the character with a moving camera well you can do that but with uh, some tracking another another tracking skill so for this tutorial it's only for the tripod scene so yeah so to make him disappear all we're gonna do is right click oh I'm sorry not right click but click it just click it and then go to composition and then save save frame as and then Photoshop layers and then you are gonna save it uh, anywhere you want boom and then you're gonna open it where is it there you go you can open it on Photoshop so you're gonna need two softwares which is After Effects and Photoshop for this because you want to make your uh, you know uh, character in the real scene uh, replaced with your character so yep <laughs> need a, a little bit of time here because uh, <laughs> there you go there you go all right so um, you have to be using Photoshop CS5 and above to do this why because there's a cool thing called uh, um, content aware that you can use for this scene uh, if you don't have a uh, Photoshop CS5 then you will have to use uh, the old um, what is it called? I forgot uh, the, 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 the stamp tool the old stamp tool but with Photoshop CS5 and above all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to uh, lasso tool and just basically select the uh, subject there and then right click and then you're gonna click fill and then make sure you choose the content aware and then if you are on uh, Photoshop CC all you gotta do is preserve transparency it helps and then okay boom very easy very fast and then after this all you're gonna do is file and then save and then exit and then go back to After Effects and then go back to the Photoshop file which is this one the tutorial I name it tutorial and then go to the project and then put this tutorial Photoshop file inside After Effects which is contain uh, and then you're gonna choose uh, merge layers which is contain the uh, uh, Photoshop file that we uh, just did and then put it above our scene and so what you're gonna be uh, seeing here is is actually just a flat image uh, which is not moving uh, but we only need uh, this part to cover the subject in a real footage so we're gonna cut this part like so for now there you go and make sure it covers the original subject so you, I, I hope you understand the logic here is very easy <laughs> boom there you go and boom and yep and uh, oh let's see there you go so if you play this boom well if sometime the uh, it's changing right uh, like this all you're gonna do is open your uh, Photoshop file here uh, go to mask open it up and there's a mask path so you can create a keyframe so this one is already perfect and then max mask path and then for this one you're gonna change oh I'm sorry control Z to undo that and then make sure to click anywhere first and then boom boom cover it cover it and cover it and as you can see here woo there you go and if you ah there you go there's some some kind of glitch there so from here another keyframe and ah there you go oops I'm sorry make sure you click somewhere else first and then boom and then we're done but uh, because the edges is kind of harsh as you can see here is kind of ugly um, line here so all you're gonna do is go to mask feather and feather it up a bit for like 10 or something and boom you're done oh a little bit here so we're gonna put it there there you go 
So make sure you check it out. Ooh, and also there's a little bit here. And also here. A little bit. So I hope you understand and I hope you get that. It's very easy actually. Very easy. Very easy. Boom. There you go. And uh, another one here. Well, you get the point. And boom. There you go. Alright, guys. So that's it. That's how you make the uh, uh, subject from the real scene. The real subject. To replace it later with your subject. And we're done. Alright, so next, what you're gonna do, of course, you're gonna put your uh, um, green screen uh, footage above the uh, Photoshop footage and then the uh, uh, background footage. And then, ooh, it's gonna a little bit too big here, so layer, transform. We're gonna fit to come. There you go. And then, next, we're gonna remove the green screen area and then change it to our background movie. Alright, so. You're gonna use a pen tool here to remove the unnecessary part and click, hold and click to make a curve like that. Click, 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 and boom. Better way to uh, move it around like this uh, is that you go to the uh, hand tool and go back to session to the hand tool. All you're gonna do is click the middle scroll of your uh, mouse and then hold it and then move it around and uh, zoom in. To zoom in is scroll up and then to zoom out is scroll down. Just a little tips if you are a new beta After Effects. All right, so. There you go. We already removed the unnecessary part. And then uh, next, you're going to go to effect, uh, keying, and then key light. So, this is the chroma key effect. So, uh, go to the screen color and pick the green color, of course. And then uh, go uh, f uh, to the view here. Go from final result, you're going to change it to screen mate. And then go to the screen mate. And then we're gonna have some click black and white. So for the click black, we're gonna punch it up until all of the black, uh, click black, which is the background, is a black. So uh, it's gonna be disappear. And then for the clip white, uh, make sure you punch it down until, make until you make sure all the foreground are white, which is uh, uh, what it's uh, you know, if you if you go to final result and boom, there you go. Uh, it's done and uh, for some scene probably uh, it gonna works if you uh, change it to source but for my scene here it's already perfect on soft color all right so we are done for the green screen now all we're gonna do is we're gonna match uh, the color of the scene Woo! there you go let's see we're gonna make it bigger a little bit with the transform uh, scale we're gonna scale up a little bit there you go like so and uh, uh, for this, I, I, I create this just a black bar on the Photoshop <laughs> for the white screen so we can see. All right, so um, uh, to match the color, there's a bunch of color correction tool inside After Effects. And uh, you can just click on your scene here and go to Effect and then Color Correction. And then probably we're going to use Curves, for example. And uh, we're going to go, uh, actually, we're going to make it dark a little bit. On the middle, on a mid tone, and uh, a little bit darker on the shadowy area. Just a little bit. Let's see. And then a little bit light on the highlight area. And probably a little bit darker here. Alright, for, for now, let's just uh, that. And then uh, go to the red. And uh, as you see here, the background is kind of. Have some reddish and magenta color so uh, for the red color we're gonna punch it up a little bit and then for the green let's see for the green probably just just make it <laughs> and then for the blue and uh, whoa probably not too much uh, since we have some kind of yellowish uh, light from the left side here, so we're gonna leave the blue just as that. Well, of course, is uh, guys, it depends on your uh, scene, <laughs> so make sure you just, you know, just just see if it's already match your uh, scene or not. See it here. Woo! My God! <laughs> there you go. All right, so I think that's it for the curves. 
And uh, next, for example, effect color correction, brightness, and contrast. Now, we're gonna play with the brightness. Ooh, they're surprisingly already good. And then the contrast down a little bit, maybe. Until you think that. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yep, I think that's. Uh, well, wait a minute. Yep, that's uh, looking pretty good, actually. Yep, there you go. All right, so <laughs> probably back on the curves. Uh, um, no, actually, it's already good. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it. <laughs> I think it's already uh, match the color in the background, but uh, the uh, edges it is kind of too sharp, and I wanna make it smoother a little bit. So uh, you're gonna on the effects and presets here, you're gonna type in mate chucker and then just drop it in your scene here. And then go to the geometric softness too, and then punch it up until you see a little bit, you know, some kind of a uh, little bit blurry on the edges. So it's uh, kind of just, you know, mix mix it up a little bit better. And uh, for the geometric softness here, probably I'm just gonna put it on the zero and then the choke also down to minus. So it's it won't cut your uh, you know character too much and just play with it basically boom there you go let's see this is the result and this uh, oh so in the uh, my previous uh, uh, scene here is kinda a little bit darker but uh, yeah you can do that actually <laughs> let's just do that uh, a little bit darker let's see maybe we're not gonna use the curve we're gonna use the brightness here let's see and contrast down a little bit maybe maybe let's see until you think that is already good all right basically that's good because next um, what I usually do is actually I put another color grading inside another software like editing software so it helps to match overall you know overall uh, scene so guys that's it actually that's how you uh, uh, put yourself inside a movie the most important part is actually the Photoshop part so you have to remove the uh, real scene uh, the character from the real scene to replace it with yours of course I think that is the uh, yeah the most important part and another tips also for uh, <laughs> look at the face and uh, for scene like this um, pr uh, probably you have you know uh, uh, no light you know basically you have less light than this, you know, all Hollywood set or all of these Hollywood sets, <laughs> like me, for example. And uh, all you're gonna do is you can create a fake uh, shadow or even highlight. So as you can see here, it's a fake shadow, and I made it by uh, just put some black solid right there. And to create this, actually, pretty easy. So I'm just gonna be showing you right now. Layer new solid, and make it black. I'll put it above the. Uh, uh, the or all of your scene and then um, go to the uh, transform and uh, opacity just make the opacity down for now a little bit and then go to uh, pen tool and then create a fake shadow just draw it just like so with a pen tool and boom and then we're gonna uh, put the opacity back up to 100% and then go to mask open up mask and then mask feather to feather up the edges just like so you can see here looking pretty good and uh, put the opacity down until you think it's already perfect just like so so that's how you create a fake shadow to make a fake highlight is uh, as easy as uh, as this one is uh, go to layer new solid and uh, depends on what color of the highlight for example is yellow this is just for example by the way and uh, like so and again you're gonna draw the highlight for example like so and then uh, usually I'm gonna change it this toggle switch mode uh, and change it from normal to add or uh, uh, lighten or screen but uh, the most important thing is, is you're gonna go open up the mask and do the same thing and uh, feather it up and then press it down and usually use add for harsh light or something and that's how you make a fake light 
like so for example blah 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 all right guys so thank you for watching and uh, sharing and liking and uh, subscribing and see you in the next videos and tutorials terror arts out